Hello, um, this morning I want to encourage you by giving you this powerful two verses from the book of Isaiah chapter 43 verses 18 and 19. I want to let you know that even though some of us we have had negative past experiences I want you to know that you don't have to live your life based on your experiences that are unpleasant that are negative in your past not only that do not allow your current situations, your circumstances to affect the promises of God upon your life. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18, do not remember the former things. God does not want you to recall the things of old or even to think about them, to, to meditate upon the things of old. The things that did not work in the past, things that you failed in doing, your mistakes in the past. Most people live your life based on their past and worry about tomorrow, worry about the future. Live a day at a time and let the grace of God be sufficient for you to live a day at a time. Forget about the past, it has happened. God has forgiven you, God has moved on, and God wants you to move on with your life and acknowledge Him in all your ways as you live your life. So do not remember the former things, no matter what has happened in your past, especially those that are negative and unpleasant, terrible, don't recall them, don't think about them. Because it says in verse 19 that God, behold, see, he will do a new thing. God will do a new thing for you. But you have to forget about the past. Because he will do a new thing for you. And this new thing, how is he going to do it? When is he going to do it? It shall spring forth. It's going to happen. Shall you not know it? He's telling you. This new thing is going to happen and it's going to spring forth. And you will know it. And look what it says. Just to tell you that doesn't matter how difficult your life has been in the past. Things might seem impossible. Things might, might, might seem hard for you right now. But God will do a new thing for you. And it shall spring forth. And you will know it. And, and, and he will even make a road in the wilderness. He is the God of the impossibilities. He is the God that can make the possible possible. The, he is the God that can make the impossible possible. He can make a road in the wilderness. We know in the wilderness as as a, as, as a forest, and there, there, there are no path. So you might think there's no path in your life. There's no you don't have any sense of direction, no guidance, but God will make a way in your life where there seems to be no way. It doesn't matter if you're currently living or going through a wilderness experience. God will create a road. Even though there's, there's, there's no road at all, or you seem not to find any road, God is able to create a road, a way out in the wilderness. And only that rivers in the desert. You might think your life is dry. Your life is, is dry. Things are not working. Things are dead. In desert, nothing grows. In, in desert, everything is dry. But God is able to cause rivers in the desert. Not just one river, but rivers in the desert. Because what water does, water, water grows things. God will ensure that your life will grow. He will ensure, first of all, create a way for you. He will give you a direction. And then he will cause you to grow in every area of your life. You will grow spiritually. You will, your mind will grow. Father, may you help us 
to forget about what has happened in the past and to believe you that God you will do a new thing for us and it will spring forth we believe that with you all things are possible there's nothing hard that you cannot do your words that if we believe all things are possible to him who believes Heavenly Father, we believe that, God, you're able to create a road in the wilderness in our life where there's no direction, where there's no, no guidance. You're able to, to speak to us and lead us and guide us and direct us. Not only that, wherever there's dryness, wherever there's dead, uh, anything that is dead in our life, you're able to raise again, you're able to, 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 to bring back to life, you're able to, to water our life back, O oh God, so that our life can grow in every aspect of it. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen.